Good morning YouTube, I'm David Frankel and I'm outside Manchester Piccadilly. Today is Thursday the 20th September and this is bee number one. One of 120 bees that have popped up in Manchester over the summer and they're due to be taken down this Sunday which means I have four days to visit all the bees. All the bees, all of them. All the bees, all the bees. This bee in Sackville Gardens, just near Canal Street, is dedicated to the LGBT. Now why anybody from Manchester would ever want... So this is B number 10, and this is the Manchester Craft and Design Centre, which contains my first series of little bees. Um, there's four of them in there. And I think already my favourite thing about this trail is the fact that it's taken me to bits of Manchester that I otherwise, I otherwise would not have gone to or even knew existed. This is a lovely little place. It's an old market hall, probably. And it's got all these little craft shops in it, and of course the bees, which I've come to photograph. And there's the Manchester Cat Cafe. Look out for the local bee, ears, ears. And this is bee number 11, which means 11 plus the one little bee series. That means we're 12 out of 120, so we are officially 10% of the way through. So that all yellow one was bee number 15. I'm now officially breaking from the order because the next one, number 16, is in Victoria Station, which is where I'm gonna drop off my bike later as I head to school for my afternoon lessons. Um, so I'm now gonna skip straight to 17. Now time for our second series of Little Bees and it, they're in, all inside the National Football Museum which also contains um, what I believe to be Manchester's only incli incline lift which I've never actually been on before. Oh look, this one's Mr. Ben. Ah, good memories. This one's by the Arndale car park, right next to Shoot Hill Buzz Interchange. And I'm now inside the corn exchange where there are not one but two bees 
which takes us up to 24 in total, which means we are officially 20% of the way through. These ones aren't part of the trail, but they're fun. And this one's the science bee, all about physics, chemistry and biology. This one reminds me of Seal Cowman too. I don't have a pun for that, it just genuinely does. So before we call it a day, there's two more we need to see on Exchange Square. And there's another one inside the Corn Exchange. Now on the map it was labelled as three inside the Corn Exchange. And I thought the one I saw in Exchange Square was one of those three. But actually, that's a, there's a different three in Exchange Square, which means there's another one somewhere in the Corn Exchange that we need to go find. Oh yeah, while I'm here, there's also one in Cathedral Gardens. There's also a, a mini bee series, a little bee series in the cathedral, but you can't go in it today, so we have to come back on Sunday to get pictures of those. So the third one in the Corn Exchange is actually located here inside the Bee in the City gift shop in the window, and it's the Drip Bee. Quite, quite a nasty on that because you'd, you'd walk past it and think, oh, that's not one of the official ones, but it is. It's a bit hidden, hidden in plain sight. And here we are in Victoria Station where there is yet another bee, and that brings our total up to 30, which is a nice number to finish on today. The hunt continues tomorrow, but I have a lesson to get to. Hello YouTube, it is now Friday. Yesterday I got rained on, but luckily I was in town, which was mostly in inside, although unfortunately I didn't bring a coat. Today I've learnt my lesson and I've brought my coat, and I'm glad I have too because I'm in Heaton Park, where there is pretty much no shelter since the cafe is closed. I'm just kind of awkwardly standing under the end bit of this roof here. Uh, but we have of course come bee hunting, and there it is, the bee of Heaton Park. One of the first of the scattered bees, which are far more of a pain to get to than all the ones that are conveniently located in town. But you know, who doesn't love a challenge? Especially in this weather. For any Metrolink nerds, you will of course already know that Heaton Park is actually located in Zone B. Sorry, there's actually three in Heaton Park. Well, two big bees and one series of little bees in the stables. So, I really hope they're open. So, minor disaster. So there are four um, little bees here. Uh, two of them are in the stables, which is open. However, apparently the other two are in the pavilion cafe by the lake, which is where we just were, which is closed. So we would have to come back tomorrow, but I was just told, by sheer miracle, apparently they're moving them to the cafe, to this cafe, today, in about half an hour, which is amazingly lucky. So we will, have, we will get to see them today, after all, which is one less thing to fuss about over the weekend. Um, meanwhile, there is another big bee somewhere else in the park, so we're going to go find that. And then we're going to come back here and hopefully they will have those two little bees in here. Which means we'll have done Eaton Park. Which would mean one less complication for later. Oh, that's great. This last bee is located in the apiary. The beekeepers. <laughs> so there are actual bees here. I like how, please keep this gate closed, as if the gate is somehow going to stop the bees from escaping. Although, presumably it's more like for dogs. I don't see many bees around. Probably because they don't like the rain. What's that? There's a 
line from the B movie wasn't there. Bees can't fly in rain. Don't know if it's that. It's probably not true actually. But they probably just don't like it very much. Neither do I. But I've got bees to hunt. So here's one now. A bee-themed bee. -themed bee. Now I'm not sure this one counts, but uh, here it is, just in case. So we've made it to Plant Hill Park in High Blackley, uh, one of the sc more scattered bees where a friend of mine has kindly offered me a ride around them. Here is this one, it's inspired by the night sky. Which is and Next stop is North Manchester General Hospital. Uh, should be one somewhere around here. Not quite sure where. This one was a little tricky to find, but here it is. So outside the uh, Manchester Youth Zone is this one, called Harper B. Very clever. We are in Harper B, of course, and that is the North City Library, uh, where one of the Little Bee series is. Series is. Um, there's one. There's two little ones in there, in the reception, and apparently there were another three in the library, but they've already been taken back because all the little ones are made by various schools. So they've already been sent back to the schools that made them. Um, which is the first time that's happened so far. So there's a couple we've not been able to see there, but hopefully we'll be able to see all the big ones at least. So I'm now back at Manchester City Centre, picking up where we left off yesterday. Bees. To the bees. This one looks a bit like a construction worker. I'm quite surprised they didn't go with Bob the Bee Yielder. Am I the only one who thought of that? This is the River Irwell, by the way, and that is the remains, well, that kind of raised structure there, was the location of Manchester Exchange Station. Um, it used to be, a, it was for a long time a car park where one of the old footbridges was still intact, however that's now gone and this new glass building has taken its place. So yeah, that is, you can still see the whole raised bit of brickwork there. That was an old railway station. So close to Victoria, in fact, that they had a common platform, which was once the longest passenger rail platform in Europe. Quite a lot of it is still intact, actually. But anyway, this video isn't about trains, it's about bees. So let's get back to the bees. So I'm now inside the, the Royal Exchange Theatre. There are, there's one big bee in here and eight little bees. This one seems to have some Oh, moving little lights here. It's fun.
So this here at St Anne's Square is the Royal Exchange Theatre, where we just went. Oh, there's another one over here. This one's called Queen Bee. It's in the uh, St Anne's Arcade or Royal Exchange Arcade. I must say it's probably the ugly, ugliest one we've seen so far. I mean that is just not a pleasant sight. And I'm now in the Barton Arcade, one of Manchester's loveliest bits of Victorianness. There should be a bee in here somewhere. Ah, oh, look at it. So it turns out there actually isn't one in Barton Arcade, but there is another one somewhere in St Anne's Square outside, so I should go find that. There it is, just by the church. I love this square, it's just lovely. Not really a fan of this one. I mean, I like the design, but I don't like how it's behind a window. You can't go around it. This one's computer themed, so it is, of course, called USB. So running into just a little bit more trouble, both the art gallery and the central library are now closed both of which contain bees, uh, but I have to come back into town at some point anyway to go to the cathedral, so it's not that much of a uh, problem. There's also some out here in St Peter's Square, but this one, this pedestal seems to be missing its bee. I wonder why. So this one apparently is an augmented reality bee which you need to download the app for. Now apparently there's an app, which I haven't actually got, I've been using a paper map this whole time because I'm so old-fashioned and retro, but apparently all the codes give you little rewards and things, so I might download it, maybe get some free train tickets off the wall at Piccadilly. Uh, but I might as well download it now, then I might be able to see Buzzy, the augmented reality B, which I otherwise cannot see. There's another one over there. Slightly annoyingly, the app doesn't seem to be compatible with my phone, so I cannot download the app and therefore I cannot see the augmented reality B. Bit of a bummer. Here I am outside the B Ridgewater Hall. Here we have Buzzwig van Beethoven. Uh, I made up the Bree Ridgewater Club Paul pun, but I did not make up the Bee Tobin pun that was here on the plaque. Uh, and that is Manchester Central, where there is another bee, which we'll go check out in a second. But whilst we're here, I thought I'd come down and take a little look at the Bridgewater Canal Basin, which may or may not be a little hint for one of my upcoming future documentary videos. Now I think this one outside of Central Library might just be my favourite so far and that's because of this on its wing. It's the Railway Clearing House Map of Manchester's Railways. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. And this one has rivers and canals. In fact, it's just canals, not rivers. Love it. Again, may or may not have a connection to a hint to a possible future documentary in the nearish future.
it's all maps basically in this one and it's called the map of work of the worker bees so so far this is my favorite and here's this is manchester in albiot square There actually aren't any in the town hall because it's closed until 2024 for renovation. So here I am outside John Ryland's library. There's a couple of bees there, which I've just photographed. And there's another little bee series inside the library, which is again closed because it's past 5 p.m. So I will definitely have to come back to do all the indoor ones another day. But still, uh, we press on because there's plenty more out outdoor ones to see today. here in spinning fields it is really raining uh, this one is called Pablo B Casso for well obvious reasons so there's a big bee and a series of little bees inside the people's history museum but uh, surprise surprise it's closed after 5 p.m. so we will just have to press on and come back and basically retrace our steps either tomorrow or on Sunday. Today is Saturday, uh, and today I'm going to Crew Heritage Rail Centre. Um, I wasn't originally planning to do any beats this morning, but I realised a handful of things are closed on Sundays, so I need to squeeze them in in the morning. Uh, this one you can get to, but it, we just have to be passing through anyway. Uh, it's in the middle of Levensum, and it's called The Bee With No Name. So here I am at Longsight Library, which is closed tomorrow, so let's go find some bees where we can. Well that was quick, they're right in the doorway. Right, onto the city centre. We are stretched for time like nothing you can imagine. And so having cycled up the A6, I'm now back in Manchester city centre for attempt two of Central Library and its bees. This one is just literally a, a bee. There's not much else to say about it. So that was the Central Library. I'm now hopping onto a tram, which will take me to Didsbaby. I mean, these are getting tiresome, aren't they? Right, time to run. And we have found another bee. So I'm now at Stockport, uh, about to head to Crewe for another video, totally separate to this. 
Uh, this isn't my train, but I thought it was worth pointing out the name. What a coincidence. <laughs> It is now Saturday night, I am back from crew. Uh, I had to pick up my bike which I left in St Peter's Square, so I decided to do some more bees while we're at it. This one is Bee Here Now. And here we are now at Beans Gate Castle. Now this is of course Skyscraper Central, here we have our longtime favourite Beetham Tower which is, was until recently the tallest building in Manchester. There are another two towers going up, that one on the left is now the largest in Manchester and there's another one. So I'm back in Great Northern Square, I was here yesterday where we caught a city transformed down there uh, but I missed the second one which was apparently on the other, other side of the square except it seems to be missing. Agnes Speed and Powell has moved to a new home inside Great Northern Warehouse. Let's go find it. We found her. This one was probably was probably one of the more difficult ones to find. Whilst looking for B number 51 next to the Museum of Science and Industry, I've come down this street here which goes past the Crystal Maze and I've come out here behind, that's the one end of the Museum of Science and Industry, and there's this funny old train shed type looking building that I don't think I've ever seen before. I don't even know what it is. Was it part of Liverpool Road goods? That's very curious indeed. I don't actually know. Either way, it seems as though it's being demolished. So it's good that I found it now. I just don't really know what it is. It's kind of a shame it's being demolished, to be honest. Aha, here's the other bit of track. That So you used to be able to get a steam train that went down to the junction and then along here. However, the, these two bits of track have been cut off by the Audsall cord. Yeah, so that's this is all a bit of the goods, so this must have been part of the goods part of the station or part of the goods yard next to it. I don't know. And this is the crystal maze. You can hear the theme tune. So I figured out that B number fifty one is probably inside the Museum of Science and Industry, even though it doesn't say inside, uh, like it does in other locations. Although you can peek through here, it's obviously closed, but can't seem to see it. What I can see, however, is something that looks suspiciously like a rocket locomotive. In fact, the rocket locomotive, which is coming back to Manchester between the 25th and the 28th of April. So it's a bit early, actually. Um, I will have to come back here. This is yet another place I will need to come to tomorrow uh, to come find that bee and also go see rockets. Morning YouTube, it is now day four, Sunday, of the bee hunt and it is at this point where I admit these bees are starting to get to my sanity. But thankfully, this is the final day, whether or not I get them all, because after today they're all being taken down. So, the pressure is on to visit all the bees and to start off I've come to Withenshaw Hospital where there's just the one, uh, the sneeze bee. And it's got all sorts of little pathogen diagram well, drawings on it.
And here we are at Manchester Airport, where there is another bee. I'm not sure how I really feel about this one, to be honest. You see, it's supposedly celebrating 80 years of Manchester's influence around the world. The diagram seems to have somewhat uh, imperial connotations there. Hmm. Don't think I like this one very much. That's a funny coincidence. This 185 has a little bit of promotional livery at the front and it's for the Manchester Bees. Special livery is 185 with the Manchester Bee livery. Uh, ironically enough, I'm not on it because I've got my bike and I haven't booked 24 hours in advance, which you now have to do on Transplant Express. Uh, but even if that weren't the case, I probably wouldn't have fit on anyway because it was absolutely jammed. Uh, the next train is this one over here, leaves at 43. That sets me back about 24 minutes, which is not great, but you know, could be worse. So I'm now back at Manchester Oxford Road. We've come to see yet another bee. Having found this bee, I now feel right at home. Literally. I'm now back at St. B to Square for the third time. This time I'm going to the art gallery. Just see the bees, obviously. So those were the bees of Manchester Cathedral. Uh, nobody was 100% sure how many there were there. Uh, the, the main answer I got was 20, and I counted 20. So hopefully I got all of them. And here I am now outside the Beeple's History Bee Museum. Now I'm back at the Museum of Science and Industry. They've actually renamed it to the Science and Industry Museum. That's so much more boring. Oh, and while we're here, Rocket has come back for a bit from its usual home in the, uh, I think it's the Science Museum in London. It's come back home to Liverpool Street, or Liverpool Road, so. But anyway. Much as steam trains are interesting, today we are on a hunt for bees.
this one was a bit of a pain to get to. It's kind of in the inner city now, Old Trafford. Uh, it is called Be Together. And after this, we are heading up to Salford Keys and the Lowry. Or rather, Salford Bees and the Lower Bee. While I was cycling on my way to Salford Keys, I just... Is there... There's two Skyhook sculptures? I had no idea there was a second one. I know the one on the roundabout. It doesn't look like it's been moved because it looks like it's been there for a while. So clearly there's been another one this whole time that I just didn't know about. Here's the first one, of course. And now we cross over into Salford to go see Salford Keys. Specifically, the bees of Salford Keys. Next stop is the Lowry. There are some small ones in there and a big one and more small ones in there. Okay, this one's definitely an infestation. There are 18 little bees upstairs in the Lowry Outlet. And here I am at Bee Deer City UK and there is the Blue Bee to Gardens where there's another bee. So I've cycled all the way from Media City to Clayton Hall in the east of the city. According to my map it has a moat but there doesn't seem to be any water. Anyway, we're not, we're not hunting for moats, we're hunting for bees, and ours is just behind that tree. So I've now doubled back and I'm now in Sports City, uh, specifically the cycling centre, where there's a big bee and some little bees as well. And I'm now here at Manchester's other major football stadium, Manchester City. Now, although I may remain firmly neutral over the teams, I personally prefer this stadium, just because it's a bit more modern, bigger and more streamlined looking. Anyway, we're not here to talk about football, we're here to talk about bees. There's three of them here. Desperately trying not to disrupt this running race while I cycle through, but there's also some So this is Oxford Road, this bit of it is mostly buses only I think. Um, anyway we've come to find the Manchester Museum uh, which closes at 5. We're going to do this and then we're going to rush down to the Whitworth because that also closes. And the rest of it I can come back to later when it's no longer as time critical.
So this whole area was basically Manchester University B. Here's another one. So yep, I was at Piccadilly and it was four o'clock and I realised the Whitworth and the Manchester Museum both close at five. So I was a little bit nervous. So I called in some help from my mum, who's very kindly driven me to those two places. Although, having now done them, <laughs> uh, I, I think I probably could have made it, just. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Anyway, uh, we're now going down to Longsight, Cavcroft Park, which is the one, one that I left out yesterday because it wasn't time critical and I was in a rush. So we are here at Cowcroft Park, our third and final park on this bee trail. Just trying to spot the bee. And there it is. So since my bike is at Piccadilly, um, my mum has to drop me off there. Either way, we've decided to just mop up the rest on our way back since they're all in pretty much a convenient straight line. Uh, so this one, we've come to the Manchester Science Building. I was a little worried about this one because I realised the Bright Building, the name of this, is closed on Sundays, but only like half an hour ago I realised. Uh, so I was really hoping, please be outside. It is outside. That's, uh, that is a relief. This is quite an unusual, unusual one in that most of them are just painted. This one has little bits added onto it. It's kind of been armoured up. We've got all this kind of... I'm not entirely sure what these are. Bits of spare tech that have just been stuck on the sides. Overall, it looks pretty cool. I like this one. We're now down to the final three. Here we are outside the Crown Plaza Hotel on Oxford Street. Trying to find B number, oh there it is. Well, the last one is 101, so this is B number 99. Big B number 99, it's not counting all the little bees. We're now here at All Saints Park in search for the penultimate bee. This bee is called to be or not to be, and that's because it is a Shakespeare bee. And here, under the Mancunian Way, is something called Hatch. I'm not entirely sure what Hatch is, but I do know that it contains the it's a bee, and it is in fact the very final bee of the Manchester bees. And I can see it through the fence there. Well, let's see if we can get a closer look. So there you have it, and that was the final bee. And according to a guy uh, in the courtyard, they're coming to collect it in 15 minutes. 15 bloody minutes, that's how, that's how close cut this was. Fucking hell. So, with the exception of the three little bees that were removed early from Harper Hay Library for reasons that I didn't quite figure out, with the exception of those three, I have now officially seen all the bees. Which means there's only one more place to go. And so here I am, back again at Manchester Piccadilly, where we started this video. It's only four days ago. Feels like a lot longer. So this is bee number one. And now we've visited them all. All the bees. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe. Oh. <laughs>
of the bees, all of them. All the bees, all the bees.